back to see today with me, Laras Ardia, and today we are going to talk about the ASEAN Tourism Forum 2023. And here we are with the Minister of Tourism and Creative Economy of Indonesia, Mr. Sandy Salahuddin Uno. Hello, Mr. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Laras, and thank you, see today for having us and covering this very strategic uh, event, which marks the first event for uh, ASEAN Chairmanship for Indonesia. So the ASEAN Tourism Forum kick, kick off the uh, series of events and meetings uh, around the ASEAN Chairmanship that will uh, be held in various cities, including the summit in Labuan Bajo in May, mm -hmm. and the also ASEAN plus uh, US, ASEAN plus China, uh, to be held in uh, Jakarta or Bali by uh, September this year. Yeah, we are really, uh, we, we see the enthusiasm of uh, most of the ASEAN countries that involved here at the forum to bring back their economic growth, especially on the tourism sector. Um, and um, of course, we are seeing that uh, most of the ASEAN countries as well uh, are willing to develop their quality as well as their sustainability of their tourism industry. And one of the focus is the ecotourism industry in um, some of the um, ASEAN countries member. And uh, what I've heard uh, during the NTOs meeting earlier, that the accessibility of the ecotourism is one of the concerns of the ASEAN countries. How do you um, accommodate this uh, in this forum? Well, infrastructure uh, that is sustainable needs to be uh, made available and also the funding of such infrastructure. So uh, during this uh, ASEAN uh, Tourism Minister meeting at the uh, ASEAN Tourism Forum, we also will discuss why Southeast Asia tourism, uh, in particular the uh, big four countries uh, of uh, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, and Vietnam, uh, recovers at a slower pace compared to other regions like Europe, uh, the U.S. as well as other regions. So we need to accelerate the recovery of ASEAN tourism, one of which is the ecotourism, the tourism village, how accessibility, connectivities, and building the infrastructures, uh, development of destinations, and how tourism areas will become more inclusive and resilient. We also believe that uh, the results of the G20 summit uh, in particular when we discuss uh, in and around World Tourism Day, that implementing the Bali guideline would be key for this ASEAN uh, tourism to accelerate its recovery. Human capital, digi digitalizations and innovations, women and youth empowerment. There need to be more women to be involved in tourism and more the uh, Gen Z and uh, millennials. We're also seeing climate actions, and you mentioned about ecotourism. We are providing tourism products that actually uh, help uh, reduce the carbon emissions. Uh, policy framework uh, to support the four pillars. So Bali guideline will be the key uh, that we will be discussing. And when you talk about uh, human capital, it's actually about jobs. It's actually about how we could uh, empower the micro, small, medium enterprises with skills, entrepreneurship, uh, and educations. Uh, also, we need to do reskilling, upskilling, and new scaling in order, in order to provide uh, better skills for the human capital to cater to the new uh, personalized, customized, localized, and smaller in size uh, tourism post-pandemic. And finally, uh, we believe uh, we need to certify this uh, new uh, human capital so that they're up to the standard of tourism professionals' competence. We are enhancing also the micro, small, small medium enterprises' capacity. And Indonesia, as chair of ASEAN, uh, needs to improve the Tourism Professional Monitoring Committee uh, to enhance the mutual recognitions of ASEAN in terms of arrangements on tourism professionals. So a lot of uh, discussions will be made, including this ecotourism accessibility. Uh, but at the end of the day, we need to improve the quality of uh, ASEAN tourism 
uh, in terms of human resources, creating jobs, and our target in Indonesia is in co cooperations with this potentials of ASEAN tourism and ASEAN as a single destination. So we aim to create 4.4 million new jobs by 2024. Yeah, yeah, agree on that. Uh, on collaboration between uh, all involved, all include the stakeholders and all sectors involved, as well as how to develop the human capitalism in a sustainable way. That's, that's correct. Mm -hmm. And then uh, one of the concerns as well is uh, on how uh, halal food is available in most of ASEAN countries because I've also um, joined one of the sessions with the Philippines and then uh, one of the concerns is the low availability of halal food there. So will there any like collaboration moving forward to uh, collaborate between all ASEAN countries to uh, make sure the availability. Halal tourism is uh, growing very fast and the two countries that are ranked number one and number two are Malaysia and Indonesia. And as part of ASEAN, we, w we need to create an ecosystem of how halal tourism could also be catered because uh, Japan, Korea, they're uh, developing this uh, halal tourism very fast. So we need to create a notion that uh, extensions of services that uh, uh, provide uh, halal food, uh, also place of worship, uh, extensions of services including uh, how the ecosystem of uh, tours and tours operators recognize where are the restaurants, where are the fashion that would cater to this Muslim-friendly um, uh, sectors of, of tourism. So a modest fashion is also in need. And many of the activities that would cater on halal tourism. So this would be one subject that we will discuss. And Indonesia is uh, uh, moving very fast to increase its uh, capacity to provide uh, services for halal tourism from the accommodations to food as well as to uh, fashion. Uh, and it is hoped that the ASEAN Tourism Minister uh, meeting here at, uh, in Yogyakarta, and this is also uh, epicentrum of growth for halal tourism because Jogja have so many to offer in relation to visiting uh, the mosque as well as the food being available. And we believe that each member country could contribute to accelerations of the recovery of the tourism. In particular, one of the locomotive would be the halal tourism. We believe that this ASEAN mice and even toolboxes that we're developing can, can also help uh, the uh, uh, increase in potentials for uh, conversions for halal tourism. And, uh, but it is very important that we need to restore the confidence for uh, ASEAN, intra-ASEAN tourist trips. Indonesia's uh, top tourist arrivals come from Australia, but we have Malaysia, Thailand, and Singapore, uh, Philippines, just our neighbors. We need to get uh, them to visit one another. Um, Indonesia is number one uh, arrivals of uh, foreign tourist arrival in Singapore and Malaysia. Uh, but we also need to increase more tourists from Malaysia, Thailand, and the Philippines into Indonesia. So ASEAN, intra-ASEAN, uh, and ASEAN as a single destination is going to be high priority of this ASEAN Tourism Forum. ASEAN as a single destination. Correct. So, uh, Minister, as the chair uh, of the ASEAN Tourism Forum, how uh, does Indonesia actually can help to develop ASEAN uh, countries' tourism? Uh, including the conflicted countries such as Myanmar? Yes, the um, uh, 2022, we received the World Economic Forum that uh, ranked Indonesia now number 32 in the Travel and Tourism Development Index. This is the highest Indonesia have ever been. We are now ahead of Thailand, Malaysia, Vietnam, and the Philippines in terms of the index. Uh, and when you dissect which part of uh, uh, the uh, part of contributor to the index that we're ranked very high is actually inclusivity. So Myanmar is part of ASEAN and we need to 
uh, start uh, a dialogue on how we could reduce the tensions, we could reduce the, um, uh, uh, the situations in uh, Myanmar, although ASEAN is always um, appreciating each country's uh, uh, sovereignty in terms of dealing with, with their own internal affairs, but we need to guide them because tourism uh, in Myanmar has a huge potential. I've been to Myanmar, to Bagan, to Mandalay, it's so beautiful. And with more dialogues, hopefully we could uh, reduce tensions and we could help Myanmar to uh, achieve stability and through uh, I think the process of engagements, uh, closer engagements with Indonesia uh, as um, a country with so many uh, islands and so many races. Uh, we deal with uh, a lot of issues when we uh, transform into a new democracy, we could uh, probably share our experience and lead uh, us the way so that uh, Myanmar could be included in this uh, uh, new wave of uh, tourism that is focusing on spirituality, on serenity, as well as on sustainability. Yeah, for sure. Great. Thank you very much for your time today, Minister um, Sandy Saudinuno. So yes, that's uh, wrap up our discussion. Collaboration, cooperation is really important in uh, developing our tourism industry, of course, in developing the economic growth moving forward for the ASEAN countries. I'm Laras Ardia with all the crew members here signing out. Bye-bye.